Hello and welcome to the 52nd video in this series program with Chess Engine in C. So last video we set up the clearing initialization of the principal variation table in our board structure. In this video we're going to set up the two functions, one that stores the move inside the table and another one that then probes the table to retrieve a move if one's there. So the first one will be the store PV move and the function definition itself is very simple. We simply take in our position obviously because we'll be using our position to access the table, just make some more space down here, and the move itself that we want to then store in the table. And the way we do the storing is we define ourselves an index and we put this at the position of the key, remember a 64-bit number, moduloed by the number of entries. And this will then give us a number between 0 and the number of entries minus 1 because we're using the modulo. And then obviously the index is used, this number is stored in index which is used as a position as where we want to store our information. When we've got this, there's just one tiny, tiny little assert to go in here to double check that the index is at least greater than or equal to naught and is less than or equal to the number of entries by minus one so that we're not storing anywhere else in the memory. And all that remains is two very simple lines to inside then the PV table at the position of index is simply store the move and the key. And that's all there is to it, so it's very simple. The second function is for probing the table and again it's pretty simple actually, it's not very complicated. We need to get our index from our key, so if you imagine that using the same code as the function above, if you, if you imagine that we stored and then retrieved at the same time, we would have stored at this index this move. Well now we're retrieving and looking for a move and you'll see that with the index then therefore should be exactly the same if we were doing it from the same position. Indeed in the next video we'll do a little quick test of this just to make sure everything's okay. So once we've got our index position we then need to say at this index do we have the same, do the keys match? So we're going to say if keys are equal at this index then we know that we can return the move that's sitting at this index because we'll have stored it with this key because this this key the position key moduloed by the number of entries leads to an index at this position so therefore it'll be exactly the same location in the table as if we'd stored a move with that position key so then we return the move that's at that position otherwise we simply return no move because we haven't found anything and I'll just take a, I haven't missed anything off in the code, no I haven't. Now there's one thing of course that's probably sprung to mind that could happen here. Although I think with the two megabytes we had around 150,000 entries, of course during the search there will be the circumstance where the modulo result for different keys, because the key at the end of the day is 64 bits and there's lots and lots of potential different numbers, there could be the situation, and there probably will be the situation, where a different move is scored is stored for a different key that the key the key, two different keys modulo by the number of entries give the same index well we'll deal with that when we actually come to retrieve the principal variation from the table because the way that we'll retrieve from the table is simply to as we ret uh, retrieve a move is make the move retrieve an x move check that that move is legal and exists in the current position if it does make it and then probe again and so on and we'll simply stop probing when we come across a move that isn't legal or is equal to no move but that you'll see in the next video when we start getting around to testing so the only thing that remains to be done is we need to put both of these functions into defs.h now because they'll be used inside the search module and also inside vice.c in the next video so I'll just drop these two in like this and also the pro PV table. And that's all there is to it. Just want to quickly run make on this and make sure I haven't made any drastic spelling er errors here or something. Nope, don't seem to have done good. 
Okay then, so that's it for this video, short and sweet. In the next video we'll look at storing and retrieving the moves from a, a principal variation with a couple of little tests. So thanks very much for watching and uh, qu comments, questions, criticisms, welcomes always on YouTube.